Let's see, what are the motivation opportunities? Okay, advanced part, okay, here, now we talk about part-time work. Let's see, do we do this? Okay, yeah, now part-time work. Part-time work for workers. I can do other things. I can have my, I can focus, on, let's assume this was uh, just a uh, part-time gig. I was an adjunct instead of full-time. Let's say I was just an adjunct. Maybe I will keep this as an adjunct so I can concentrate on Brooklyn Body Gear, right? I have a, my own company, I just want to be an adjunct. Okay? It feels to supplement your, your income. Worthington, right? He was in dental school. Part-time work. I only want to clean the garbage once in a while. Okay? Just part-time work. For the workers, that's a great thing. What about for the employees? The best part for the employees is no benefits, of course, right? Low labor costs. And, of course, no, um, no benefits. It's better accommodate peaks and valleys of business cycle. They should just say no benefits. Okay? Disadvantages to the workers. Ah! Failure to qualify for benefits. Okay, it's so for that part. And uh, for the employees, uh, remember, some people have taken multiple part-time jobs. Who's working when? There's a lot of turnover. Remember, there's always going to be a lot of turnover uh, with part-time employees. So keep that in mind as well. And this is everything. Guys, hopefully you understood the uh, motivation and performance. They are, they are interrelated. Okay? If an employee is motivated, uh, they're going to perform well. Thank you. I love you all.